Last video, we show you how to create our first Java program. So the Java program is a class, and the name of that program is called HelloJava.Java. It is saved under SRC Chapter 01, and um, then the file is here. So this is called source code. The hello java.java .java is the Java source code. Where is the bytecode? When we click on run, it's compiled it into a bytecode and then it runs to show the results. So click on the run here and it will have a console and then print to this console screen. It's a hello java messages. Okay. So we can click on slide to close this window. Where is the bytecode it generated? It's under the bin folder. So if we click on the bin folder and we can see that it generate hello java.class file. If you want to click on this one to see what's the bytecode look like. And so let's click on that. And you can see that the bytecode, it looks like even further away from the human languages. It's more closer to the machine languages. Okay. Um, so that's a bytecode. We can click on here to close it and click on here to close it. Now, let's create another one. And to say we want to introduce each other. So I click on the plus here, which is a new file. And so first of all, I want to make sure that I create the file into the right directory. So right now we are in the chapter. This is a zero, okay, zero one. And then I will give a file name file name it's anything you want anything you want to create and so give a good name that indicate what this program is about and for example i want to say this is about 10 you know i want to introduce you about me and so again the letter about is capitalized 10 is capitalized, no space between them. And then I click on create. So again, Codiva gave me a sample code here. They gave me a sample code. Um, now, we can use the sample code, okay? But we need to really, really first understand what the sample code is doing to tell us okay first of all we want to add in the public here so every class it's the public public is purple here that means this is a keyword and class it's also purple it's a keyword and then again this is our class name and this is beginning of the class where is the end of the class it's right here and the end of the class it's lined up with the beginning of the class p here okay so if you put this one here the code still works but i will deduct some point from you because it's a bad bad style okay so make sure that the end of the class is lined up on here okay um, the, um with right underneath the beginning of the class so everything is inside the class so this is inside the class inside the class what we have is one method so from this p here this public here and this whole line here is method as i told you before you just have to simply uh, memorize and copy the whole thing here. Okay, so this is tell us this is a main method. Now begin and 
end of the method. And then inside the method, this is called a statement. Okay, this is a statement. And statement, we can have as many statements as we want to, as many statements as we want to. And also inside here, we can also have as many methods as we want to. Okay, so I will show you in another video. But right now, for this video, um, we'll just focus on the statement. This statement is to print. So it's a command to print one line. Look here, this one is L, it's not one, it's L, lowercase L, okay? Um, so we can print the message here within the double quote. This is a double quote here, and we can put any messages we want. So I can type say, my name is Claire Ten. All right, and and then I can add more um, print here, more statement. Okay, and system dot out dot print l n. Okay, um, and then it's a double quote. And we, I can type any messages inside the double quote. Um, say, I love programming. And every statement will have to end with semicolon. So if we forget about the semicolon, they will have an arrow messages here say, hey, semicolon, it's expected, all right? Um, so let's just say if we um, mistaken here the lowercase with, um, uh, with uppercase with lowercase s here, and they also will give us the error messages say the lowercase system does not exist. So be very careful. And I also see a lot of mistakes. And instead of the ln, and I see you type one n. Okay, again, they say print one and it's not found. And see here, they look very much the same. And so be careful, okay? It's not one, it's lowercase l here. And that's the mistake I see quite a lot. Okay, so, and now, um, and I can keep sending uh, more messages here. And I can, again, I can type to say, um, I hope you will love programming too, okay? And again, every statement ends with semicolon. And so how many statements I have inside a method? three statements, okay? Now, again, if you kind of doing this way here, the code is fine, but this is a bad practice. So I want you to really make sure statement is indented inside this method. So this whole block is a method. And inside the method, we have three statements. Okay, and so this is a pretty good and we don't have any arrows. And if we click on this button run here, they will compile it and they will run it, okay? So this whole button here, it's compile and run, um, all being taken care of by what we call this whole thing is the IDE. Come on, where's my messages? Here we go. Um, because it's going to the servo, so it may take a while. So see here, and this is the messages that has been printed out. Okay, 
So we can, you can click here to close the console, close the console, close the console, and slide to uh, go back to our screen.